हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल लर्निंग बीज टुडे वी आर थ्रिल्ड टू अनाउंस आर न्यू सीरीज सी बी एस ई नाइन्थ क्लास इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स एंड सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन सी बी एस ई बोर्ड टू स्टार्ट विथ टूडे आई हैव चोजन जोग्रफी लेसन नंबर वन India size and location but before that if you are new to the channel do subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post a new video like the videos if you find them helpful share them with your friends so let's begin with our today's video in this video we are going to focus on size and location of our country india in this world map we can see different continents and countries painted in different colors almost there are 195 countries on this earth and our india is one of that so we are going to today explore about size and location of our country now if you see here in this map yellow color is used to paint india we can see india is quite big country the landmass of india has an area of 3.28 million square kilometers a very vast country as i told you there are 195 countries in this world each and every country has its own size and location on this earth so is our india the biggest country let's find out that this will come to know after some time now here in this map we can see a dotted line starting from left to right this dotted line is called equator which divides our earth into two equal parts northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere if you can see proper closely you can understand that most of the countries are in northern hemisphere only few countries are in southern hemisphere and if we talk about india india completely lies in northern hemisphere that is above the equator so india lies in northern hemisphere now let us find out some important facts of india now it is clear from the area now that india is the seventh largest country of the world this is the fact that means that there are six bigger countries than india and india is the seventh largest country total about there are 195 countries out of that india is on seventh number so india is quite big country india has a land boundary of about 15200 kilometers and total length of the coastline of the mainland including andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep about 7516.6 kilometers so this is the length of boundary land boundary and coastline you know that northern part of our country has land boundary and whole southern part has is having coastline india is bounded by young fold mountains in the northwest north and northeast one more fact is that the whole of our north means north some northwest and complete northeast is Uh, bounded by young fold mountains none other than himalayan the great mighty himalayan mountains the next fact is that if you look at the southern part of our country it looks like an ice cream cone that means tapering towards the south towards the indian ocean and dividing the indian ocean into two parts western and eastern the eastern part is bay of bengal and western part is arabian sea so towards west of india is arabian sea towards south is indian ocean and towards east is bay of bengal 
the latitudinal and longitudinal extension is about 30 degrees of this mainland and east west extent is little smaller than north south extent means the distance from north to south of india is little bigger than distance between east and west of india for this we have to take closer look at our india map now let us try to understand what is standard meridian of india if you take closer look at our map here we can see there is a standard meridian this dotted lines vertical line this is standard meridian of india now what is this standard meridian let us see now if we talk about our western state that is gujarat and eastern state easternmost state that is arunachal pradesh here in between these two states there are about 30 longitudes 30 longitudes for for this we'll have to understand the concept of latitudes and longitudes that we have learned in 5th 6th and 7th standard so longitudes are the imaginary lines running from north pole to south pole all the la longitudes are in equal of equal size and there are in total about 360 longitudes 360 longitudes and latitudes are horizontal imaginary lines on the earth and their length reduces equator is the longest one and the size becomes smaller and smaller as we go towards the poles so these are imaginary lines latitudes and longitudes which are very helpful so as i told you the distance between Gujarat and Arunachal Pradesh there are about 30 longitudes and distance between two longitudes is equal to 4 minutes okay so if we take 30 longitudes multiplied by 4 you get 120 and if we divide 120 by 60 you get answer as 2 so there is a time lag from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh, there is a time lag of about 2 hours and it's very difficult to handle all our day-to-day -day life activities if there is difference in time at different places in our country. So, a time along the standard meridian of India that is 82 degree 30 minutes east Passing through Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh is taken as the standard time for the whole country. Each and every person in the country follows this standard time. The latitudinal extent influences the duration of day and night as one moves from south to north. Longitudes have to do with time and latitudes have to do with duration of days and nights. That's why we have standard meridian of India and it is here 82 degree 30 minutes east. This is our standard Indian standard meridian and that is followed in our country for our day to day life. Now India is as I told you a vast country. So it is in northern hemisphere of the earth. And it extends between latitudes 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north and longitudes 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east. Now this is very important 8 degree 4 minutes north 37 degree 6 minutes north. You have to understand this diagram for this. Here we can see the prime meridian 0 degree. And from here, north is upwards, south is downwards, west is towards left and east is towards right. So, by knowing the latitude and longitude value, we can locate any place on the earth. Now, if you want to locate India on the earth, where you will locate it towards north and east, means somewhere here, the India is lying. So you can locate any place if you know the value of latitudinal, latitudinal and longitudinal extent of that place. Now if you 
Now if you take a closer look to this map you can see the Tropic of Cancer passing through India from left to right dividing the country into northern and southern hemisphere. So the, con the states which through which Tropic of Cancer passes there are almost eight states through which this Tropic of Cancer passes. It divides the country into two equal parts. To the southeast and southwest of the mainland there are Andaman and Nicobar Islands here. Andaman, Nicobar in Bay of Bengal and in Arabian Sea there are Lakshadweep Islands. As I told you the countries that are larger than India. I told you six countries are larger than India. So these are the names. Here they are. Russia, USA, Brazil, Canada, Australia and China are the bigger countries than India. And India is on seventh number. The, you can study this graph properly. All the uh, area wise it is given very nicely. So you can have a close look from your textbook and understand this. Now the length of the country as I told you north south. India is little longer. So length of the country you can see here it is 3214 kilometers, 3214 kilometers and the breadth of the country is 2933 kilometers. So all these things we have to remember because it all comes in the size and location of the country. Now let's talk about the position, central location of India, how India is very important as we think about, uh, consider international trade. The location of India is at very prime location. It is in the center from where Europe, Gulf countries, South Asia, East Asia and West Asia all are equidistant from India. So India comes in a central location. and. Uh, the ocean below India is also named as Indian Ocean. The reason is the same because the prominent coastline that India has uh, confronting with the Indian Ocean. That's why the name of the ocean given here is Indian Ocean and none other country's name is given to the ocean. So India has the prominent important place uh, in the middle. So central location it has between the East and West Asia. India has southward extension of Asian continent. This is also the reason we have got uh, in the ocean is named as Indian Ocean. The trans-Indian Ocean routes which connect the countries of Europe in the West or East Asia all provide strategic central location to India. So the international trade has become very easier because of the central location of India. And in 1869 when the Suez Canal opened, this became more and more uh, easy for the trade purpose the distance between Europe and India has reduced by 7000 kilometers here you can see here the Swiss canal is there and the uh, traveling or international trade was done from this route earlier they have to completely uh, surround through Africa and then come to Europe or from Europe they have to come to India by crossing the whole of Africa but now it's not required because of Swiss Canal and the distance has been reduced by 7000 kilometers so this is also very important from exam point of view now let's talk about neighbors of India now if you see the map of India here you can see towards the uh, Pakistan Afghanistan is towards west towards the north you can see Nepal China Bhutan towards east you can see Myanmar Bangladesh these countries are our neighbors they share land boundary with our country and the two island countries Sri Lanka and Maldives are also our neighbors so this is all about neighbors of India also you can see how many country, uh, states are there and how many union territories are there in our country at present there are 28 states and 9 union territories and the Tropic of Cancer through the which passes through uh, the middle of India, the states through which it passes are Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Tripura, Mizoram and West Bengal. That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. So like our videos, share them with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to the channel. 
Hopefully we'll see you in our next one. Thanks for watching.